Hello and welcome to another edition. This is a special edition of the Rise Stream. We're filming another Derail Valley VR video. And this is the first update. Uh, this is the newest update of the game as of November 2023. Uh, this adds life to Derail Valley. And not just the player. We actually have other life forms. We have animals. We have sheep. We have goats. We have this beautiful, beautiful cow right in front of us here, Chad. Well, I guess he doesn't want to stick around. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we have cows at the farm. We have kitty cats hanging around here. Chickens, pigs. There are all kind of animals at this farm. We're going to take a look at all of them in VR right now. So let's uh, take a look. Good cows. -y. Oh, this is Sugar. This is one of my moderator uh, Denver's cows guys this is sugar here's sugar although i don't know if sugar would have horns or not i guess do cows have horns i guess they do <laughs> that was a really stupid question uh but let's go look at the chickens there's our little chickens oh they're behind the fence right now but we can actually kind of peer over the fence and take a good look at all these little chickadees oh look at the hi little chicken hi little roosters or whatever i don't know what you are guys i don't i can't really define or like 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 pick out what's roosters and what's what are chickens oh and here's the pigs here's the pigs let's get in with the pigs guys look at this oinker over here oh my goodness look at this little piggy so we can get down up close and personal with the piggies they would probably be a little bit more aggressive towards me uh but check out uh the lighting update too i mean we got a little bit of cloud cover right now but the lighting is looking fantastic it's a little bit washed out right now um you know just due to the cloud cover there's no like clear sun it obviously just rained um so the light is looking fantastic the the you know the shine on the ground just looks really really good so let's go over and see if we can find any other animals here we're gonna take a look here guys i think door near the loading area they have the sheep Okay, near the loading areas, uh, these are the two loading areas here at the farm, and um, looks like there's a bunch of, like, free-range chickens running around, so <laughs> they are loud. They are very, very loud. Let's take a look and see if we can find ourselves a little kitty cat. I know. Oh, 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 look at the little chicky. He's so big. Oh, what an adorable. Oh, you are so cute. Look at the little chickadee. Oh, my goodness. Where is the cat? We got to find the cat. Where's that little kitty? I know there's a kitty around here somewhere. There's got to be. He's always frolicking around. Oh, there's another little chickadee. Look at the little chickie. You should not be on the railroad tracks, you little tweeter. No, you shouldn't. That is a bad place for you to be. Um, I don't I don't think we could splat them, though. I'm pretty sure they made him non-splattable for obvious reasons. So that is definitely a good thing. Uh, let me see if I can find that kitty. I know there's a kitty. Oh, there's a kitty. Oh, there's a kitty. Come here, kitty. Give me a kitty. Oh, look at the adorable little farm kitty. He just hangs around the farm. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. So there's our little kitty, guys. Oh, he's lick a paw. Look at him licking the paw. He's a little paw. He's so cute. Yeah, there's one of our kitties. I know there's a, a white and black kitty as well around here. Or white and gray, maybe. Um, I don't know where he is. But look at the little chickadee. Yes. We have all kinds. All right, I, can, I can stay here all day and just hang out with the farm animals. But we gotta we gotta check out some actual train driving today too. Here is our I, I think these are goats. Are these goats or are these sheep? These these gotta be goats, right? These are goats. Hi little goat. You're adorable as well. These guys are big. It's it's so crazy to see them in VR. Uh, because they're so big. Oh, look at these two. They're just sharing the same they're eating gravel here. That is so cool though. Okay, so we just checked out all the animals. Uh, we're going to hop in the station office here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to check out a shunting load. See if they got any, like, shunting loads for us. Um, and just try to, like, maybe load up with these with these animals. Because that is one of the new uh, cargos in the update is that we can actually... Oh, here we go. Yes, this is perfect right here. Look at this. Load and prepare a train with cows for departure. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this um, We're gonna do this food factory in town load. It's not going to be a load out of the, of the farm, but we're actually just going to load up these six cars with cows, guys. So that's what we're going to do. So let's uh, grab this, and we'll put it in the order validator. Let's put it right on in there. Grab our booklet as well. So there's our shunting load. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to track B1S... And we're going to pick up four cars at BM B1S. I don't know why I did that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to B3S. Those are our storage tracks. Um, we have to pick up all six of these cars. So we got four cars on one track, two cars on the other track. Let's go pick them up. And we're going to load them on A3L. So let's go do that right now. B1S. Here we go. Okay, so this is our, uh, our new stock cars. We should have new stock cars here. So there should be stock cars. Luckily, they're both down on the end here. 
So here's uh here's one of our brand new stock cars. This is awesome. Um, and we're need we're gonna need nine nine four to eight eight eight. There's eight eight eight. So it's this kind of cars right here. All four of these stock cars will hold the animals. So we're gonna load these four up with the cows. Oh, there's the kitty. Hi, kitty. So here we are in our diesel hydraulic locomotive. This is definitely my favorite locomotive. Uh, I absolutely love it. And um, it is uh, already ready to go. I did have a little bit of a glitch in the last, um, or in the first, like first time I tried to uh, make this video. I did have a little bit of a glitch where the horn got stuck. So we're not gonna mess with the horn. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, we're back again. I'm not gonna touch that horn. All right. Let's not touch that horn. So, I don't know why that's not working in VR. It definitely works outside of VR, but in VR, it does not work. Let's open up these windows so we can actually, like, get some fresh air here. Um, and I think we're good. So, I got my lights already set. Um, we got our, we got our uh, lights to full. Well, let's just set those to half uh, intensity and, or, like, low beam intensity. Our rear lights are red. We're going to set that to low intensity as well. Cab lights are full. So there's our cab lights, and uh, that's all good and ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull forward a bit, unless I have... Do I actually have any... Oh, yeah, we can go all the way down there on this track. Never mind. So we're just going to get in reverse. Let's get in reverse. Take that uh, independent brake off. Um, and make sure... Let's make sure our brakes are not set here. Uh, yes, those are good. Okay, they're not set. And uh, we're going to just back it up. So let's just back it up. Give it a little boost of kazoo here. And uh, we're just going to kind of back it up. There we go. There we go. So let's give it a little... We'll get up to like... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, tax looking good. We'll get up to like 20. We'll just let off there. Maybe 22. And we'll just kind of coast on backwards uh, as we make our way back through the yard. So we need to get to B1. Uh, there's B1. Okay, so there's B1 storage track. Uh, we just need to make sure all of these... There we go. Are facing this way. And it looks like they are. Let's hop up in the cab and get moving. So we'll take off those brakes. Give a little boost to Fazoo. Going forward. Notch two. Don't want to overdo it with the hydraulics, obviously. And that should push us right on into those cars right there. So let's see if that, that, that works out. Hopefully I got the right track selected. Looks like I do. That's one thing about Derail Valley in VR is you have so much more situational awareness. It is pretty wild. Um, how, like, more aware of the yard you are when you're actually in the game as opposed to, you know, just watching it on the screen. I don't know. I just feel like I know where all my tracks are pointing, all my switches are switched to way, way more, uh, realistic, you know? All right, we're going to slow it down. Let's slow it down. Also, you have that depth perception, so I can kind of see, you know, I can gauge how close we are to bumping that stock car there. And just kind of give it breaks whenever we're about to bump it. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. Perfect. There we go. All right. Let's hop on out. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook on up. Let's hook up. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a little trick I found by holding the down. So instead of actually ducking, you don't have to actually duck anymore. Um, we're actually, I don't know if you ever did, but you can actually just hold down on the right joystick on your VR controllers. And that will... Uh, that will do the trick. So let's open up these valves. There we go. Valves are open, holding the down. So I don't have to, like, get down in my living room here <laughs> anymore. And uh, we are hooked up. So let's take that off. And uh, that's going to allow us to move these cars. Let's also just make sure that that air valve is closed in the back. And this is not hooked up, which it is not. So we're in good shape there, guys. Oh, I love, the, I love the new wildlife. You can hear them all yelling and screaming. Okay, let's back it up. So we're going to pull on that. Put that reverser in reverse and just kind of back it up. Let's back it up. Pull these cars out. Now, remember, we do still have two more cars uh, that we need to pick up that was on the B3 track. So we got to hook up to uh, the B3 track. As soon as we get these cars clear, we'll hook up to that. those two other stock cars on the B3 track. That'll give us six total, and that's what we got to load with the cows for the load out of here. I am excited. So let's go out and see if I did it right as soon as the train stops. That's <laughs> so weird. Like, I actually kind of, like, looked. Even though it's a game and it cannot hurt me, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Better, better watch that step. All right, let me um, get this to the right. Or no, wait, no. Is that? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm sorry. This is still to the left. And then um, this one would be to the right. So we'll go 
to the right on this one. And that should put us right... It's a little touchy sometimes. That should put us right in line with the B3. Yes, we're good. So let's head on back to the... Locomotive and pop her into forward. There we go. And we're gonna uh, take off those brakes. Give it a little boost to Fazoo. Now this is gonna be a little tricky, Nick, because we're gonna have to kind. I could probably use my locomotive remote actually. So we have our locomotive remote here, um, and we're gonna use this to hit the brake. So our independent brake is right here. That's all we really need because we have empty stock cars. Not a huge deal. But let's give it a little boost to Fazoo. We're only going six here six kilometers per hour so let's kind of speed it up a little bit Ooh, yeah we don't want to give it too much throttle oh my god <laughs> my reverser my reverse is in neutral all right let's use our independent brake full independent what a bozo maneuver okay let's give it a little bit of throttle just a hair of throttle take that throttle off independent brake oh 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 okay that wasn't bad that was not bad. We probably hit that at about five kilometer dues per hour. Not horrible. Uh, it's okay. It'll be okay. All right, that is all hooked up. Let's kind of back out under that. I can see myself really clonking my head on that. And I'm sure one of these has a brake on. So we'll just uh, check that. That does not have a brake. Let's check this as well. This is probably the one with a brake. Yes, it is. Very nice. Bra uh, parking brake is released. And everything looks good back here. That is, airline is tied off. We do not have any chains hooked up. We're good to pull this. All right, let's pull these six cars out and load them up with the cows. So first thing what we're going to do uh, is we got to back it up. Let's back it up. And then we got to find out where our track is. So I believe it was the A3 track is where we're loading this with the cows. We'll take a look at that. Let's make sure nothing's behind us. Nope. Hi, cowsies. Hey, we're about to load you up to get shipped to the food factory. I don't know what your future holds over there, but I have a pretty good idea. Oh, look at the goats. Yeah, A2L. Okay, there's A1L, A2L. Oh. Oh. Hold the phone. Yeah, we're loading it here. Okay. Okay, so this should be A3L. Let's take a look at this. Okay. There's A3L. All right, so we're loading it on the, on the right side of the silo. So let's get back to where our train is. Uh, that does need to be to the left. Or to the right, I'm sorry, if you're looking at it from this angle. Um, we might actually not be far enough back. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, we're not. Okay. So all we got to do is switch this to the left. Okay, so that's all we got to do. So let's, all we got to do is get behind it. We got we got about one more car length. Um, let's take that off and just back it up. Just a hair. About one car length. Okay, that's about one car length right there. Put on that train brake. And we'll just switch that. I love that. The sounds in this game are phenomenal. Okay. All right, cool. And then, uh, yeah, that should take us right into the loading area. We're just going to give it a little bit. We're going to give it about 20. And just kind of watch as those, uh, as those cars come around the side. Just kind of gauge our distance here. And I think we want to set up right in the middle. So let's take that off there. So I think we can load all these cars in one, one hit. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't have to pull up and load each car. So I don't do too many of these shunting loads, but from what I do remember, uh, we don't need to load each car. It should load all of them. So that's cool. So that is going around like that. And uh, that looks very, very good. Let me pop my head out here. Yep. Looking good. Looking good. I like how my head kind of snaps to the window. That's cool. Oh, that's not cool. <laughs> Never mind. That's jank. All right. So that's coming around to the left. Love that I can actually like kind of move around and like get on my tippy toes here and just kind of see what I'm dealing with up here. You know, the distance and everything. That's the, the greatest thing about VR is, is it adds a third dimension. That was like the most obvious statement in the world. But it's true. It's really underrated unless you try it. <laughs> All right. There we go. So we are coming up to our loading zone. Let me just hit the brakes. Um, we're going to use the independence for this one. We're going slow. Um, let me just hop out here and just kind of see where we need to load these cows up at. 
Let me hop out on this side, actually. Okay, so it looks like... I don't know. Huh, I'm kind of lost. A3L. There's definitely cows somewhere. Oh, here we go, here we go. There's our little machine. Um... Cargo transfer. Should we? So we have uh, pigs, cows, poultry, sheep, goats, tractors, wheat. So you can pretty much load anything right here. Train in range, load. So it's saying we can load it right now. It's saying we're in range. Uh, let's load it right now. Let's do it. Loading. There it goes. That is so cool. All you gotta do is uh, flick that switch. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if they actually loaded them. You know, if like there was like a way to like line up with like a ramp or something and actually, you know, open these doors and load the cows. But unfortunately there is not. We just have that kind of little switch. But I'm not complaining. I mean, this is really, really cool. You guys can see there are cows in there. Um, they are actually livestock cows alive and well. They are moving, mooing. And they also supposedly react to your, uh, oh, kitty. Just a kitty. Come here, kitty. Where'd you go? Oh, he's hiding under the car. Look at him hiding under the car. Hey, little kitty. Hey, little kitty. You don't want to hang out there too long. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> all right. So we got all our cows loaded up. Here's our train full of cows. That is so cool. And um, what we're going to do is we are going to... Uh, we're going to pet the kitty. You know, no, no, come back. Hey, come back. Uh, we're going to pet the kitty, and then we're going uh, to hop on over, and we're going to put it where it needs to be. So they wanted it, uh, us to store it somewhere, so let's store it somewhere. We're going to go to B5 Outbound, the famous... Well, this isn't the famous B50, <laughs> but uh, it, is, it is definitely an iconic number here on the Rise Street. Okay, so uh, we're going to put these on the B5 Outbound track. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of back up. I believe the, these are all the B tracks, so we should be able to easily find it, um, hopefully. So uh, let's put her in reverse and just kind of back it up. Let's back it up. Oh God, what was that? So we had a little bit of wheel slip there, it sounded like. Uh, I guess I gave it a little too much. <laughs> Didn't like that with all the weight of the cows on. These cows must be pretty heavy. They must be very, very heavy. So let's do a little bit more gently, gently. Maybe a little bit more gent gentle. All right, you guys are safe for today. These are the ones that are going out later this afternoon, so. Don't you worry. And then what's cool about this game is I believe once you shunt a load, I believe it turns into an actual trip. I'll have to confirm that later. Uh, but I believe once you shunt a load to a storage track, you can actually take this load, you know, to the fear fat or not the fear factory, the food factory. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably do that on a live stream later this week. Uh, you might, you're probably watching this video after I did that live stream. Um, but I will probably do a live stream later this week and just actually take this load of cows out to where it needs to go, which is probably the food factory. Let's use the, uh, the train brake, and we're definitely going to be passing it any second. Yeah, we're already past it. So let's use the train brake. Oh, crap. Wait a minute. We might want to be on that track, actually. What did I do? I hear an alarm going off, but I don't know what that is. I don't know what that alarm was. <laughs> All right. So, let me see. Did I need to be on the other one? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that goes somewhere different. I'm sorry. Yeah, th there's a split here um, for a different area you want to go to. So, we're just going to... All we're going to do is throw this switch. Uh, and let's go find B5 outbound to just kind of set all our switches. There's B5 outbound. The track is clear, which is fantastic. So, um, we'll get to hang out with our friends one last time. Okay, we're back in the train, and we got all our switches set. Take off those brakes, pop her into forward. Give her a little uh, notch two there. Maybe we're on notch, yeah, we're on notch two. There we go. And uh, let's pull her on in. I love that you can see the cows, too. Like, they're all in there. And supposedly, they do react to your driving. I did a little bit of a test run on that. Um, I did not. Ooh, that was the wrong way. I did not find that they reacted to my driving. There, there was a... I don't want to say what I did, but I did a little bit of extreme driving, okay? And there was a bit of a scream, but it wasn't really audible, uh, you know, in the cab because the engine's so loud. So, you know, I don't really know. I don't really know if that works or not. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it's like everything else I do, user error. But, you know. I guess we'll find out later on down the line. 
Okay, we are on the track. Let's kind of slow it down a bit. We'll give it a little bit of break. There's B5, there's this B5 outbound sign. Let's kind of lay on those brakes a little bit more. Very, very cool. There we go. All right, let's pop those independents on. And uh, we're going to take off the train brake, and we are going to pop that into neutral. Let's make sure that doesn't move. Is that in neutral? Yes, it is. Okay, that is in neutral. All right, and then we will hop on out here and drop off this load of cows. So I'm going to disconnect all of this. Let's uh, lift up that. Uh, we're going to close these valves. There we go. Valves are closed. Unlace that. Pull that chain back onto there. Oops. There we go. And hop on out of here. So that is disconnected. Now, what you do have to do in the new version of D-Rail Valley is you have to set a parking brake on at least one of the uh, one of the cars that you're parking, or else you will not get paid. So let's hop on over here and let's get paid. I believe the yeah. There's the shop. Oh, I need my booklet. <laughs> Son of a stink. Just like truck driving, you walk all the way into the customer and you forgot your paperwork. So just like as I, I used to do as a truck driver. Just did that in the game. So there we go. Okay. Let's kind of go on over here. There we go. Hop on into the station office and let's try to get paid for this load. So let's see what happens here. Uh, uncouple B5 outbound. So that should be the last step. Yes. To complete the order, insert the booklet. Okay, cool. All right, let's put the booklet in. And there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, there is our money. There is our completed loaf. Fantastic. Give me that. Um, I don't know where to put you. Oh, now you're gone. Oh, easy come, easy go. Um, we could also pay our fees if we want to, but there we go. That is the load. So let's see if we actually have a... Oh, there it is. There it is. Deliver cows. We now have a freight haul load to the food factory that we just did our shunting run for. So we could also deliver corn and eggs. There's all kind of new... Um, you know, they, they kind of refine the way they load everything at the farm. You know, there's there's milk as well. I've not seen any milk trailers, so maybe I'll try to find that on a live stream. But supposedly they added short tankers, which are just like the, you know, the the um, the regular tankers they had in the game for the other liquids, uh, except they for, they're for milk and they're shorter. So they're about half the size of a regular tanker. So we'll see you guys soon on a live stream. I'm going to drop out here, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the new update. I absolutely love that we have our life now in the game. Um, it really adds a whole new dimension, obviously. That goes without saying to D-Rail Valley. So super excited about the future updates as well. Uh, but it's pretty cool that we can uh, haul farm animals now. So uh, let me know what you thought of the video, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Will ya? Nah. Nah. You guys are so cute.